Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. The iHeart Radio Music Awards air tonight on Ozarks Fox. And Clint Gurley from iHeart Media is here to tell us all about it and what you can expect. How are you? Doing great. How are you guys? Good. Good. And you can hear him also on Alice 95.5. That's right. Of course. Yeah, everywhere. Well, all, everywhere. All the commercials. Too. I everywhere. hear your voice on every commercial. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. No. So, what is happening? So tonight, 7 o'clock here on uh, Ozarks Fox and, and also live on Alice 95.5. If you can't make it to a TV, okay. uh, you can hear the entire uh, iHeartRadio Music Awards, which is a big deal because uh, this year, uh, your guys' uh, most favorite person in the whole world, T-Pain, who just yes. won. Yes, who yes. won? Mass Singer. Yeah, Mass Singer. I know you were super big into that. Mm -hmm. So T-Pain hosting. Okay. Uh, so you've got huge performances, not only some of the coolest awards around, but huge performances. Garth Brooks. Uh, Casey Musgraves, who just won the Grammy for yes. the album of yeah. the year. Uh, Ariana Grande, who is huge right now. You have uh, performances by, well, Taylor Swift's going to come to it. She didn't go to the Grammys, but she is coming to this. Because uh, you talked to her on the phone, didn't you? I text with her yeah. all the time. In fact, I need to make sure. Just text her. Tell I'm, me so I was going to make sure she hasn't texted me yet. Yeah. Okay, Anything? she hasn't. Okay. So, like, okay. so, so John Legend is oh. going to host Alicia, or is going to perform Alicia Keys, mm -hmm. uh, who just Hosted the Grammys right. is going to accept. Uh, I think it's called the Innovator Award at our iHeart Awards. She's also going to perform, uh, and, and a whole bunch of others that I don't know if you would know. Do you know Marshmallow? You Marshmallow? No, fan? I don't know. Either and I didn't guys? know who T Pain was. Sorry. Yeah. How do you not know who T Pain is? A because huge Ozark's Fox show. This yes. Is, uh, no, we, we, she was not familiar until Mass Singer. Yes. yes. And I, would I knew come about in, it from that. Yeah, and I think his now his career is going to have a totally different resurgence because right. of that show. Yeah. You wonder what that demographic shift is going to look like. Yeah. Like, I remember T -Pain, early T Pain. Yeah. What does new T Pain do? Yeah, that's the thing. He's going to have a wider audience now, yeah. obviously. But I, I, I got to say, I liked his voice without the auto tune. Dude, could he was sing. amazing. Do you ever go to? Do you watch the NPR Tiny Desk concerts? I, I know what you're talking okay, about. So yes. Some of the coolest videos on YouTube are when they bring in stars. I know it's bad. I'm here talking about iHeartRadio, but NPR does these things too. Uh, and T Pain just sat down with a little piano and sang. Wow, yeah, well, what? Oh, that's cool. So I, I like that raw talent. Don't forget the auto tune, like yeah, you said. Yeah, his voice is amazing. Yeah, they're really, really good. Yeah. So excited about the show tonight. Also, some of the coolest awards. So, like, yeah, you've got like Male Artist of the Year, Group of the Year, Female Artist of the Year, but also awards that, like, because this is a show that is built around fans and people who listen. To music, uh, people who listen to, to radio, uh, you've got awards like the Best Fan Army. You've got uh, cutest celebrity pet award because Aww. people you get invested with their yeah. lives, you know, and so you get their Instagrams and all that stuff, um, and tons of other really fun, neat things. And there's always surprises, and that's what I love. And, and working for iHeartRadio, this is the sixth year we've done the awards. I think we're in year ten or eleven of the the festival. And every time, I mean, last year at the festival. Uh, Justin Timberlake's on stage, and here comes Shawn Mendes to come oh, sing with wow. him. So a huge collaboration. I love Shawn Stuff that is never announced beforehand, but just kind of happens. Uh, you can expect more of that tonight, right here at seven o'clock. Who votes yeah. on these awards? Yes. Do yeah. the fans vote? So it is. It is uh, all the radio programmers across the country. We have 850 iHeart radio stations, mm -hmm. including five here in Springfield, uh, and then yeah, fans absolutely get a say in this. You know, because um, it's up to us as radio programmers to put out the best. What we've uh -huh. seen, the trends in music, and then it's up to the fans to vote them in. Well, I think that is good. I like when the fans vote. Yeah, and it's me not too. just a panel of, of yeah, people. Of you experts, know, too, for sure. For in sure. the music yeah. business or whatever. You know, when you said Sean Mendez, mm -hmm. you know who I also put him in the same category is Charlie Puth, who yeah. I adore oh, Charlie Puth. Yes. I think he's so underrated, yeah. but I, I think, think he's underrated. amazing. No, he's great. You're I right. think yeah, he's yeah, amazing. Yeah, Charlie Puth is one of these guys, kind of like Megan Trainer, where every time they put out a song, it is a, it is a hit yes. song. Uh -huh. And it doesn't matter how long it stays a hit. It's just like, oh, yeah, that makes sense why that would be a hit. Yeah. It's really difficult to find guys like that. Sean Mendez is another one. Yeah, right. I just like their music. Yeah, and, and it's fun. And Ed Sheeran, every single song that dude puts oh, out. Oh, man. Yeah. He By is the way, great. all those people we just mentioned are nominated tonight. For are they really? Yeah. Do you have an idea of who might win? I do. Oh, can yeah. you tell it or not? Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Dang it. Really? Are you sworn to secrecy? No, I oh. just don't want to. Oh. People have to listen to me. Look, I can come here and talk about the show, well, but then in the afternoon, I can say, "Hey, listen to me," and I'll tell you then. I got uh, Oh, I got you. Okay. I'm tell you. And Clint, I have done that. Uh, I guess it was a couple of years ago. I listened to it on Alice 95.5 because I was driving and I couldn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, man, it's great. It is so great to yeah. listen to it so, on Alice 95.5. I felt like I was there. Well, we're we're excited too. I don't mean to cut you off. No, no, no. We're excited just about being on on Fox um, because we, as a broadcast radio station, mm -hmm. that give it out for free. Uh, are a lot like what you guys do here, where you don't need cable boxes. You know, right. it's just you guys, your signal is out to people who get it. And that's 
the way that radio lives, it's the way that you guys live. So, so having it on both stations just makes a lot of sense. Like oh. we love what you guys do. I have a, maybe it's a dumb question. Is it is it live? Are you guys doing it live yeah. or what? Okay. Live, live. The same way you guys are carrying it. It's live, live. All right. So, what time is your show? Uh, it starts at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a pre-show starting from LA at six thirty. Mm -hmm. So I'll start at two in the afternoon with my normal shift till seven, and then somewhere in there I'll just. Hand it over to better You're people. amazing. No, That's awesome. Thanks. Thank you for coming in early. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Yes, check it out tonight on Ozarks Fox. All right, coming up, we're doing a real time recipe. I think we're doing quesadillas, right? Yes. Breakfast. Breakfast quesadillas. Yeah. Yes. Don't miss that. We'll be right back. Can you give me Taylor Swift's phone number, please? Yeah. <laughs> please. Let's take a photo. Let's just text her. Want to take a photo? I